Ladies and gentlemen of the Shred Gaming Tidacom video, we knew it was coming. That's right, NVIDIA have announced. They haven't completely unveiled, but they've certainly announced the Titan X. And it has a staggering, and astounding, and astonishing. I'm aware that they're all words that mean very similar things. But still, 12 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, unfortunately, we don't know too much else. But it will sport 8 billion, no, that's not me misspeaking, 8 billion transistors. Which, when you compare it to the GM204, that have 5, that has, I'm sorry, 5.2 billion. That's a lot of extra billions. So, the NVIDIA blog reads as follows. A moment of silence, some rustling, Jen Song, uh, quickly merged from the back of the room, saying he had one unwrapping a concealed box artfully labelled Titan X, and he unveiled the company's new top-end GPU. He was cagey about the details, saying they'd be revealed in a couple of weeks at NVIDIA's GPU technology conference, but had said that the Titan X is built on the company's Maxwell architecture. I think we all kind of guessed it would be. Has 8 billion transistors, a 12 gigabyte frame buffer, and took thousands of engineers years to build. Those are his words. And he gave a quote which simply said, It's the most advanced GPU the world has ever seen. And that was it. And then he presented Tim with the company's very first production unit. Tim, by the way, being Tim Sweeney, of course, of epic fame. And that's pretty much it. So, how many CUDA cores? What's the specifications? Who knows? It's pretty obvious it's going to be higher than the GTX 980, however. But since we don't really have anything to compare it to, it's very difficult to really get an estimation. I mean, you could, you could go ahead and check out, like, just for example, the GTX 780 versus, oh, let's say the GTX... Titan, which is one way to do it, but it could be a little bit different with the Maxwell architecture. Regardless of any of that, regardless of the overall specifications, 12 gigabytes of VRAM is abundant. <clears throat> now, I'm sure you are aware that Titan isn't really marketed purely towards gamers, although obviously it does present a lot of power to gamers. It also does a lot of other stuff as well. For example, if you want to use CUDA applications, if you are doing a lot of video exporting, if you're doing a lot of 3D rendering, but you also like to do a lot of gaming, then the Titan is basically your thing. But typically, the price is pretty absurd. Um, the Titan X, for example, actually the Titan Z, I'm sorry, cost around three thousand US dollars when it was released, which is absurdly high. Um, now, obviously, it will probably eventually filter down to a 980 Ti, which is possibly going to be using very similar architecture. Um, obviously, this is some speculation, but probably very similar architecture. But maybe it has some of the uh, floating point performance nerfed, which is a pretty logical statement. And additionally, we're probably going to see the frame buffer reduced as well, which is a running theme in the Titan 2 GTX uh, range if you've um, been following it for some time. But let's just face it, 12 gigs is an astounding amount. And I suppose if you're really feeling uh, perky, you could actually, and your wallet can withstand the strain, you could probably SLI them maybe to get a tri SLI going and run in absurd resolutions and never, ever, ever, ever have to worry about GPU RAM utilization ever a bloody again. Well, maybe not ever again, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but for some time anyway. And if you've been following along with the DirectX 12 stuff, you might also remember, and I'm going to touch on this briefly because I went into it quite in depth just a couple of days ago. So if not, just search DirectX 12 on the channel and it will pop up. But they were discussing some of the benefits, this is some leaks anyway, of benefits of DX12. And supposedly one of those is that the frame buffers are not mirrored any longer. So in other words, rather than having a game, let's say, let's say you've got two two gigabyte cards now to use the old Chester. Of course, you've really not got four gigs of video memory available. In reality, you've only got two. However, with DirectX 12, this is said to be slightly different and each 
version of the card is going to basically it's going to split the, the um, screen up into portions and so what will happen is that the frame buffer should be slightly different for each and therefore the data will be you know a little bit different and therefore you're actually going to get more vram out of it so they're not saying that four gigs is necessarily going to be four gigs it could have some, it will definitely have some overhead and some overlap in the data but that kind of gives you an idea of just how crazy it's going to be if you do start SLIing the titans but anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video and the titan x shall be unveiled soon how far along is it? Well, obviously, he has presented Tim Sweeney with the first production model, but that doesn't really mean anything. But it's probably a good indication. Um, and there are rumours that, and I will mention it, even though I probably should there are rumours which indicate that it's going to have 3,072 CUDA cores, but that doesn't really mean that too much, to be totally honest. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.